Well, later on in this episode, you're probably going to be forced to watch a rabbit update. And in that update, I say something about it looks like we might have a nice sunrise. And the reason I can say that is because I've already done the rabbit update. <laughs> yeah, we're in this time warp thing. Sort of like in the rollbacks. It's hard to keep it straight. And anyway, I, I think in order to uh, get uh, to make it easy to understand here, let's roll back. Gee, I say that a lot, don't I? Let's let's roll back, and we will see how it is that I've got to this place. We are on page ninety-nine in John Roberts' book, and we've been here before. Remember this? I think Mark spotted that. And, uh, yeah, so uh, that's kind of interesting. And the reason we're on page 99 is because uh, I got a comment from Kevin, and he was suggesting that possibly the other davit that was closer to the top of the ladder was 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 also in use to to hold the the top of it up. Now, I think I commented back to him something to the effect that that makes perfect sense. And yeah, you can see it here in in this drawing. You can see that the there's a, a cable running down and it hooks onto a little little bracket or something there. Now I just want to interrupt and correct something here. See the mouse. This is what I thought was the bracket. It's not. It's a pedestal for the davit. Yeah, it to me it looked like a looked like some sort of a like a V-shaped <laughs> bracket, it's sort of like this chain affair is down here. Uh, but it's not. It's, it's probably uh, well, it won't be concrete. <laughs> but anyway, it was the base for the davit. It was not a bracket. There is nothing hanging down from the davit. But I can well imagine there would have been when they were going to use it to hoist the, the entire uh, ladder up onto the deck. Okay, just wanted to correct that. Uh, when I was looking at it in the book, I couldn't see nearly the detail that I'm seeing right now on the computer. Now we, we could have made something up like that, I guess, out of, out of sprue, uh, extruded sprue, but I didn't. <clears throat> now, uh, I, I, I think that we were on this page before because we were wondering about this one here. Uh, yeah, and you can see that it, 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 that it comes to a bit of a V, like this, and then it's just a single line. Whereas what I did was I ran two lines up, which is obviously wrong. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Now, I guess I could correct that. I, I don't know if uh, uh, at, at this point it would be a little bit difficult. I think I'm just going to leave well enough alone. It's already on, and once I start messing around with it, I'm, I might end up uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, breaking something. However, uh, uh, I think we probably could quite safely run some easy lines somehow uh, from the top of the ladder to the other davit. Uh, we'll work on that uh, in the morning. In the meantime, we want to try and get uh, get these things uh, uh, separated, uh, un unsoldered. Um, I did uh, do the ultrasonic cleaner thing, uh, so they're they're about as cleaned off of of uh, to me a paint as possible. Uh, I don't think there's any paint anywhere left on them, and the, the reason I wanted to get all the paint off as good as I could is so that when I resolder, uh, it's gonna the the flux is gonna flow, um, and I think it will. Okay, I'm finally getting myself lined up here to, you might say, desolder. And uh, the only kind of uh, solder sucker upper I've got is this simple one. It's it's not as good as the uh, kind that you push the button and it's got a a cylinder that uh, sucks suddenly sucks the f liquefied solder up. So. I can see that this is not going to work for this application because what you have to do to make this work 
is you have to be able to press it onto something and hold to hold it still like the joint where, where you're going to liquefy and then be able to release it and and I, I can't even release it properly on, on this piece of wood well I sort of can but not really so it's definitely not going to work on, on something like this so so this is out and I don't have any uh, uh, solder wick uh, it, now mind you this little joint here it, it's so small I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pair of tweezers not not necessarily these ones but uh, this is all that's handy at the moment and hold on to say the platform and and heat up the the connection and hopefully it'll sort of come loose now if you will remember these sort of fit together like a hinge so even if the solder does does liquefy the the part may not want to pull apart so I, I might have to grab hold of the uh, stringer and, and bend it out um, or in whatever the case might be it, it might be that we're going to have to have this upside down maybe it would work better that way then I, then I can sort of see what's going on here now careful now don't go bending anything um, yeah but that's going to have to be tomorrow as you can see from the clock it's getting really late <clears throat> and uh, yeah once again my voice is going uh, as the day progresses <laughs> My voice gets uh, more and more uh, raspy, you might say. So, uh, yeah, six minutes. Look at that, it's minus 18 already, so it's getting colder. It's going to be a cold night, I guess. Okay, all right, we'll see you in the morning. Now I know this is not a big deal and it really has nothing to do with the model ship. However, I'm a little bit worried, you might say, about our rabbits. Now this morning I did see a rabbit hopping around my car. Uh, but just one. And only momentarily. And I thought, well, oh, I'll sort of watch and see if it heads for the backyard, you know, for where the carrots are. But no, nothing. Um, no. About the carrot cam, yesterday after the sunrise, I readjusted the carrot cam and, uh, uh, and it was watching the carrot spot, or the carrot pad, from 9.18 in the morning, uh, right until, uh, almost, uh, well, until just now, this morning, uh, which is, uh, as I speak, it's, uh, sunrise time. Anyway, uh, yeah, we, we've got the, the 9.18 a.m. And then if we, if we flash to 5 p.m. several hours later, you can see there's, the carrots have not been disturbed. Then we flash to, to midnight last night, and nothing. And we flash to 8 a.m. this morning, and there's nothing. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what's happening. This has never happened before. Um, you know, but it's like I say, it's not a big deal. Uh, the, you might have a tendency to say, well, they're just rabbits. On the other hand, if you're a dog or a cat lover, the, your neighbor might say, oh, it's just a dog, uh, <laughs> or it's just a cat. Who cares? Uh, yeah, it's just, it, it, they were just sort of interesting, and I'm you know, just sort of wondering what's going on. Anyway, may as well get the camera readjusted for this morning's sunrise, if there's going to be one, and it looks like there might at least as I'm speaking right now. Okay, it is morning. And we got our soldering iron all plugged in and ready to go here. I uh, just have to press this button and it should go up to about, uh, I think it's preset for about 370 degrees Celsius. Um, now, I'm thinking that maybe I'm going to grab this a little bit differently. 
I'm going to maybe hold it by the platform and that, so that I can pull away on one of these. I, I realize that I'm probably going to bend, bend our ladder or our stringers uh, out of shape, but we can straighten them back up again. But if I don't, they're not going to release from that hinge affair that it's soldered into right now. Uh, oh, I, I did uh, reposition the uh, uh, carrot cam and uh, we'll keep an eye on it all day and, uh, and see what happens. We're, as you can see here, uh, I'm a little bit more zoomed in on the carrots. Uh, yeah, that's, that's strange, isn't it? Okay, now my plan is several things all at the same time. First of all, when I'm pulling on this stringer here with the with the holder downer, I use it as a hook. It'll pull it'll pull this stringer away from this hinge. And this also I want to make sure I don't pull it out, out of the field of view here. Now we're getting really close here. I think it, it should liquefy really quick here. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we'll do the other one. I'm just going to push on it and it'll probably just fall right off. There we go. Alright. Okay, I just want to give you perspective here before we get going. Now, do you think we're going to be able to do this again? Alright, now what I want to do is just be able to push on that. Almost got it. Oops, gotta realign now. Maybe if I use the other end of the holder downer. This one is, uh, I'm going to have to reposition here. I, I can't seem to get leverage on that. Okay, I've swung everything around now. And uh, I've also repositioned the helping hands so that when I, when I pull, the helping hands aren't going to twist out of shape here. So now I can, I can see now why it is that the other one went so well. The, the stringer from, from where it's fastened onto the tread is a lot shorter here than it was at the other end and, and it's, I have to I have to take and, and bend this this one here you know this way um, now uh, it looks like this this joint here wasn't soldered at all oh uh, um, unless I was to try it like this, maybe I could use the, <clears throat> excuse me, I could use the, uh, see, how can I brace myself here? I don't want to get my fingers in, in the line of the camera here. Now, if I was to go like this and push up against it and then, Well, it is, it is really on there, isn't it? I, I'm really surprised. Try it like this, maybe. Oh, where's the where's the helping hands? Let's use the. Uh, 
There's this thing here. There we go. Should have thought of that. Come on. There we go. Got it. Okay, now remember this one with the extra platform goes at the top, not at the bottom. So I've got to get these back together now. This, this orientation. Um, we'll see how much of this on camera I can do. Oh, remember I was talking about a hinge? You notice you can see this is sort of hinged, and I think the idea was that this part would have been fastened to the ship, and this whole thing would have just sort of folded up and over on this hinge. Makes sense to me. Now, I had originally tried to have this tweezer in, in this uh, alligator clip and try and get them to, you know, come together, but it just wasn't working out. And uh, I'm hoping, I, have, I think this should work. If I can get it lined up, and then the idea will be to build it, <clears throat> take my hands away from it, and use the solder. This is a little bit loose, maybe I'm going to have to... I, I can get them I can get the parts together by holding them in my fingers, but of course I can't solder them that way. Now there should be enough solder left laying around there that when I touch the soldering iron to the place where it was soldered before the, the solder should flow and it doesn't take very much. Guess I'm getting my head on the light, aren't I? You know, I'm, I'm surprised that nobody has commented and said, What happened, Ron? Did you get your finger too close to the blade? Or did you <clears throat> not keep your eye on the blade? Um, but uh, nobody did. Actually, that this, this boo-boo, this happened when I was... Uh, slicing cabbage in the kitchen. I was watching the blade, and the blade slipped off the cabbage. Well, just for that, I ate that cabbage. Okay, you know, I've, I've almost got it there. Now, the angle is not quite right, though. This, this should come up just a little bit so that the, so that this top rail, I realize that, I, you know what, I should put the macro lens on. Okay, as you can well imagine, this has taken quite a bit of finagling around here. Now, it is my hope that I can just bring this up so it just barely touches. Now, I could be wrong, but I, I think that connection has soldered. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it out of the tweezer and take a look at it. It it, it kind of got kind of globby there on me. at arm's distance. Nobody's going to see it anyway. Um, you can see where the hinge on the other side is pulled away, but I think that if I bend that stringer in, like you, you can't see it from your angle, but I'm looking straight down on it. I think if I bend that stringer in, oh and by the way, I broke off two of the steps on one, on one side. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to try and do the second stairway or not. This is the one that's going to go on the side uh, that that is showing, you know, when the ship is in its case. So 
this is turning out to be a little bit more, you might say, monumental than I thought it was going to be. Okay, I have uh, soldered our steps, or broken off steps into place. They only broke off on one side. Now I'm hoping that ran down into the hinge because everything is pretty much at the right angle. I guess I'll know when I go to pick it up. Last time I thought I had it and I went to move it and it just all fell apart. to be together. I wonder if I could turn it over here somehow and then just do the other, the other uh, hinge. Okay, we are flipped over as you can see. I know I'm going to be getting comments. You don't need to use that much. Well, I'm counting on the acid in the, in this stuff to help clean everything up. Okay, here we go. I wonder if I could get that blob that's on that rail off. Oh! <laughs> so, I had them soldered on, or at least I had this this top platform soldered on that we were working on. You didn't see me do it, I did it off camera. But uh, when I was manipulating everything around, trying to get the lower platform on, the top one broke off. Uh, with just normal, gentle handling. About as, as gentle as I can get anyway. Now, I've unplugged my soldering iron here, and <clears throat> I've kind of given up. And, uh, the, you know, I got a couple of comments from viewers and that those these comments make a lot of sense right now one of the comments went something like why don't you have them you know laying on the deck in sort of a stowed position and another viewer at least one viewer said these things weren't on the ship anyway uh, at least not on the sides of the ship in its final hours you know if we're going to have the rudder you know, set uh, 30 degrees to port or whatever, so that it's going to be uh, uh, sort of like uh, the, the, the way the ship is now. Why, why not have these, these ladders not in place like the ship is now? You know, this is all making a whole lot of sense at this point. Uh, as I mentioned, this, this turned out to be, uh, I, th I thought this was going to go a lot better than it did, to be really honest with you, when I started out here this morning. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do any more videoing this afternoon or not. We'll, we'll just see. Uh, uh, we'll just see how it goes here. Um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, my neighbor comes over for coffee. Today's Friday, but he's not coming today. <laughs> yeah, he he phoned me up uh, this morning and said he's he's not coming over for coffee. Yeah, there's uh, other things going on in his life too. Uh, you know, life life is what happens to you when you're making other plans, right? So, uh, yeah. yeah. He said he'll probably see me on Monday. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, they, they say that talk is cheap, and uh, you're getting a lot of cheap today here. Not too much action. Um, let's just see if I can... Is there anything else I can do yet this afternoon? Uh, well, well, at least I don't have to crank up the, the uh, airbrush and, and paint these. I'm not going to put them on. You know, there's just going to have to be a little a little gap in the fence, in the railing there, where these things were supposed to go. And, 
I, I wonder if, if there isn't a way that I could, uh, you know, the, the other one there, it, it, where is it? Did I lose it already? Oh, I took the, uh, <laughs> I'm looking for something that's, that's painted gray. <laughs> Maybe I'd better call this, this episode uh, a day. We'll have a little bit of a rest and, from this and uh, go at it again this evening. And if I do, you'll see it in tomorrow's rollback. Now, what about our rabbits? I'm, right now you can't see it, but I'm, I'm looking at the, at the carrots. Um, nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. We'll see how it goes overnight. Yeah, that's life. Thanks for watching everybody. All being well, we'll be seeing you tomorrow. <laughs>